So if you guys are wondering how to edit like Jack Dowie, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that today. Because if you guys don't know, I actually edit Sam Frank's TikToks, which is pretty much the exact same style as Jack's. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take you guys through a step-by-step -step of what I usually do. And yeah, let's just get right into it, guys. So this tutorial is on Premiere Pro. However, if you guys want a tutorial on like Final Cut, let me know down below in the comments and I will do that. But yeah, guys, obviously the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and create your project. And this is the layout I use. Feel free to copy it. Now guys, the plugins I'm gonna be using in this video are called Master Transform and Quickness Pro. These plugins are extremely cheap guys, so I do highly recommend if this is, you know, your full-time job or, you know, it's a passion of yours, I highly recommend you invest in these products. But yeah guys, we're not going to waste any more time, we're going to get into the actual editing. So guys, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is obviously once you've imported your footage, you want to go ahead and cut up the footage and obviously shorts need to be under 60 seconds on YouTube. If you're doing it for TikTok, it can be over, so it, it's up to you guys how long you want to make it. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this footage up guys, so let's get into that. The next thing you want to do is obviously if there's any swear words in the TikToks, you want to make sure you mute those because TikTok is not a fan of swear words in either of YouTube shorts. So the quickest way to do it is obviously find where they swear and hold down all on your keyboard and just click on the audio track and then you can see it will only select the audio track and you just want to cut it any like however you guys normally cut the clip. I use E as that is binding to add edit and then just go to where the swearing ends and cut it again and delete so then it goes like this instead. Uh, so yeah, you guys can see that that is then muted it. Now guys, this next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to auto transcribe the subtitles. So if I believe it's Premiere 22 or later, you can actually auto transcribe your sequence. So I highly recommend you guys pay for Adobe if you don't already, as this is a huge game changer with these type of shorts. So all you want to do is press I where you want the subtitles to begin and press O at the end and then go to the text. And then you want to go to transcript, click the three dots. And for me, it says retranscribe sequence since I've already edited TikTok on here. But I think for you guys, it'll be something like generate static transcript. You just want to click that, drop down the box and then make sure it's do audio on track, transcribe into out point only and click transcribe. So now guys, what it's going to go ahead and do is transcribe the audio the best it can. Obviously, sometimes it won't be correct. So you guys do need to fix that yourself. However, most of it is right. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. All you have to do to edit it is just double tap and then go ahead and, you know, go ahead and fix it. So what I like to do is remove all capital letters unless it's a name, remove all commas, full stops, everything like that, just as they don't look too good on uh, videos. All right, guys, so boom, I've now gone ahead and finished all the subtitles. So the next thing you want to do is click the three dots in text again and go to create captions. And then you want to drop this down again. You want to go ahead and put the maximum length to seven, which is the lowest duration, the lowest lines, single and style. I have a text style selected, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys those settings. So do not worry. I'm not going to make you guys make your own. Obviously, you can different font, you know, colors and everything like that. This is just what I use. And this is also what Jack uses. So you just want to click create captions. And as you can see, it is a bit wrong. So you you do again have to fix this because you know Premiere is a software it's not gonna be able to do everything on its own but yeah so you just want to go to essential graphics and then you want to scroll down and the font I use is Gia Granson and then these are the colors I use I just use yellow this is the strokes so here yeah, guys go ahead and copy these sends you know obviously mess with them to your like and don't just exactly copy make your own and you know be unique but yeah this is what I use and then all you have to do is go to track style create style and then name it whatever you like as you guys can see I have multiple so I have one if it's a male I have one if it's a female Email. I have one if it's like someone else that I don't have a style for money um, quick subtitles where it's like just on the middle instead of tracking as you guys can see like so but yeah this is the main one I use for crispy so now what you guys need to go ahead and do is go through and make sure the words align up with the speech so yeah um, you want to go ahead and just do that So I'm actually going to show you guys something here. So for this one, Crispy saying spell silt. It's basically a riddle type thing. So he's saying spell silt. So instead of when the person's saying it all just popping up as one, this is actually what I like to do. If you guys ever have to do an edit like this, I'm going to show you guys a little uh, life hack, which actually in my opinion makes it look a whole lot better. Here's our okay. So when he's spelling it out, what I like to do is I like to cut where, when he says a different letter. So like S and then I. So S I L K. And then what I like to do is on the first one, obviously just remove it to where it says S. The second one, make it say S-I. Third one, make it say S-I-L. And then obviously the last one, make it say also. Then when it's tracking, it'll be like this. Okay. In my opinion, that just makes it look a whole lot cleaner. Obviously it's up to you guys what you do, but yeah, that's just what I think works best. Okay. 
All right guys, so bet I'm now gonna head and type out the subtitles. So the next thing I like to do before, obviously converting them to where you're tracking them and things like that, is I like to just do the video effects, so things such as tracking and yeah, zooms and things like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how I track. I do actually use After Effects, you guys can do this manually in Premiere, I just like something that's quick, and that is After Effects with the stable motion thing. So, right, so today I'm just gonna go ahead and find where I wanna track it. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you a series. All right, spell silk. Okay. So when he's spelling silk, I want to actually track him. So all I have to do is right click in the replace with After Effects composition. And this is the layout I personally like to use for short form. This is only for short form, guys. Do not worry. For short form, all I use it for is tracking. So I just have the tracker tab here, the tracking section, like the layer bit. And then this is what it's actually going to look like uh, zoomed in and things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the clip and go to stabilize motion in the tracker tab and then move the tracker point to like the nose, the eye, or just anything like that that is trackable and just click this analyze button right here. And then as you guys can see, it goes through and does it. And then all I have to do is click apply and then okay. And then as you guys can see on the right side, this is where I have it tracked. So I just press S for scale and then I just drag on the screen for the motion. And then I just click enable motion blur. Okay. Okay. So as you guys can see, it is now adding a bit of a motion because it's tracking each individual keyframe. Yeah, this is just what I like to do to add a bit of motion rather than it being a still shot. So yeah, when I go back to Premiere Pro, as you guys can it's see, right, it's okay. done it right here. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through and make sure that there's nowhere else where I wanna do it, but if there is, then I'm gonna go ahead and do that too. Okay, so here, as you guys can see, Crispy's like, what do you mean cows drink milk? And he's like, what? So what I actually like to do is I'm gonna duplicate this layer. I'm gonna select the top one, right click again, replace with After Effects, stabilize motion, and first I'm gonna track Crispy. So I'm gonna do that and then click the play. Again, this is the exact same step as last time, but this time I'm just gonna click apply, enable motion blur, and go back to Premiere. Hide this layer quickly and then do the same, replace, and then this time track the other guy instead, just so that you get both POVs of them both looking like one of them's like yeah that's right and the other one's confused so again apply enable motion blur Control s go back to premiere so now as you guys can see you have two tracked layers so what i like to do is i like to show the guides um so for me it looks like this if nothing pops up for you guys don't worry just press Control r and then drag it down and go to edit guide and then you want to set it as 960 and then the one horizontally is 540 or vertically even but anyway to hide the rulers just do Control r again i want the top one to be this guy's right here this guy's reaction of thinking it's right so i'm just going to scale it up like so and then add it go to effects and add crop and just go ahead and drag crop on and then adjust the bottom crop to the point where it's in line with this guide and then the bottom one just scale it up and literally just you don't have to crop it this time you can just move it underneath and then it's like this no. it's it's one of them being, like i said crispy being confusing and the one like that is right i don't know what you mean so yeah that is all the tracking i want to do so now i'm just going to select all the text and go to graphics and titles and do upgrade caption to graphic and then just right click and delete the caption track and then grab all these subtitles and just bring them down i don't know why premiere does that it's just premiere that is all i can say and then the next thing i like to do which is just personal preference for me as i think it makes everything a lot faster is i like to keep on one track what crispy's saying or you know whoever your main speaker is and then drag above the second speaker and then afterwards change the color on that entire track that's just something i found a lot quicker but yeah again it's up to you guys so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that Okay, bet. So now on the layer above, like I showed you guys before about how I have multiple ones, you guys want to do that as well and just find the color that you guys want to use. So I'm going to drag on the male one as this is a male and then boom, as you guys can see, it's changed it to white. So yeah, once you guys have done that, basically, I don't, I don't really know how to explain this to like an extent, but you guys will kind of see what I mean. As you guys can see with each cut, that's kind of like where the text on one of them ends. So what you want to do is you want to select the batch of text you want to be tracked as one. So for me, I want all of this what crispy's saying to be tracked above his head as one animation and then this one i want as just one animation for the other guy and then all of this one i want as again crispy's animation this guy i want his obviously and then as you guys can see i only want to do this amount here for crispy's and then obviously this is the other guy so i'm gonna again nest this one so yeah hopefully you guys go i mean like basically the ones that are like batched together you want to nest together and uh, you want to make sure that both speakers don't overlap with each other as obviously you don't want 
the other guy's text to be above Crispy's head because that just wouldn't make any sense at all. Crispy's ends here, but this guy starts here, so I'm just gonna cut that as well. But yeah, the next thing is obviously tracking the text. So this is what Master Transform is used for. So all you need to do is make sure that the clip is selected. Now, all I am gonna say guys, if you had to rotate the clip, if it obviously was inserted horizontally, but you needed it to be vertically, you need to make sure you nest the footage or else the tracking will go really weird. I'm not sure why it does that, but yeah, just make sure you nest it beforehand if that is the case. So all you need to do is go to effect controls where it says opacity, click the pen tool. And then you wanna like cut out the eye, the ear, or just the face in general, like so. And then you just want to click the analyze button on the mask so once it's done guys you want to right click on the mask and do cut then go to mask to transform you can find this by going to windows extensions and then it'll be there and then you just want to you want to make sure rotation and scale is unchecked guys make sure it's unchecked please and then you want to click get from clipboard and paste this transform so what i like to do is i like to enable the safe margins because you don't want it to cut out past this point or else TikTok and everything will cut it out so then all you want to do is just drag it above their head like right, so and then scroll down and uncheck use composition shutter angle and put it to 360. All right, so today I'm here with- And you just pretty much need to do that with every single clip. So yeah, this is the part that takes forever if you guys can't tell. So yeah, just go ahead and do this guys. Again, cut it out, track it, cut, master transform, get from clipboard, paste this transform, and then move above the head and uncheck 360. So yeah, I'm just gonna speed this next part up because it is a really long process that will bore you guys if I'm honest. So yeah, well, let's get into that. Alright guys, so boom, I have now finished the subtitles with the tracking. So this is why I use Quick Nest and you guys will see why in a second. It isn't needed, however, it speeds up your workflow a lot better. So all you need to do is just select all the text and go to Quick Nest and do Nest Selected Clips. And this goes through and automatically nests it. Like as you guys can see, my hands are up in the air right now when it is nesting it. So yeah, you guys can manually do this, but I just think when you're doing a large batch of TikToks, you don't have time to go through manually. It can take up a lot of time, honestly. So I'm gonna have a preset linked in the description and it's basically basically a text scale that I like to use for Sam's TikToks and pretty much what it does is it adds a scale animation and all you guys need to do is go to effect controls, click on position and then move this anchor point to where the person's mouth is. That is literally all you guys need to do. I've made the preset for you guys, it is that simple and yeah you literally just click it, change the position, click it, change the position to again where the mouth is so that it, you know, because you're tracking the text so you want to make it look like it is coming from the person's mouth. All right guys, so boom, I've done that. So again, I'm just gonna select it and go to quick nest and click nest selected clips again. So now you wanna select all the text again and add a glow. I like to use something called Z glow. However, I believe this is a Sapphire preset. So if you guys don't have this, do not worry. There's actually a free plugin called VR glow, I believe it is. And I will have a preset link down below of a free one that you guys can use. So yeah, don't worry about it. If you don't have it, it's just something that in my opinion looks better. However, the next thing you then wanna go ahead and do is see where there's like a gap in between Great. both text what i like to do to make it look smoother is click on the end of the clip and do Control d and it adds a dissolve so pretty much just adjust it to be like quite short Ready? and you guys can see that the text will fade instead yeah. of it just right, cutting out silk. so yeah in my opinion it just looks a whole okay. lot cleaner Spill but again this is a uh, personal choice so yeah so yeah that is pretty much how you edit a jack doherty tiktok the next thing these are final changes the next thing i like to do is add color correction and music and sound effects so i'm just going to go ahead and do that guys this is a color correction i like to use it is in malice's preset if you guys want to go ahead and cop that so yeah just go ahead and get the sound effects you want to use we see the music and things like that all right, so today I'm here with Santana. Would you say that you're smarter than a fifth grader? Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions. You gotta answer them to the quickest ability. You ready? Yeah. All right, spell silk. S I L K. Spell silk one more time. S I L K. Say silk three times as quick as you can. Silk, silk, silk. What do cows drink? Milk. You sure? Yeah. Cows drink. <laughs> So boom guys, it is that simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe and let me know what else you guys want to see. Go ahead and check out Crispy, it'll be linked in the description as this is the person I use for this video. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.